and you're welcome. In our last lesson, we saw how we could use assignment operators and we assigned these values, these two variables called first norm and second norm, and we added them together and multiplied them. We finally used a debug.log method to display our results. This time around, let's go ahead and look at conditions, which is the basis of any programming logic. And we're first going to look at the if statement. So let's go ahead and see how we can create that using C sharp. So the first thing I'll do is to go to my uh, scripts folder uh, under my assets folder. I'll just click on scripts and within that scripts folder, let's go ahead and go to assets, create, and let's create a C sharp script. And right now I'm just going to call that if statement, just like that. So I'll run that. And also let's double click that so we can open it up using C sharps environment, which is Vito's, uh, visual studio. All right, so now that we have our if statement, we're not going to be using the update method. So I can just go ahead and delete it just like that. You can actually do that. So the first thing I'll do is to create our own method and we're going to call that method the if statement. So let's just go ahead and do a void and let's just call that if statement, two curly braces and uh, parentheses and then I'll call the braces just like that. So right now you can actually see something here. We cannot have the function name to be the same name with our script. So I'm just going to make sure this is the statement is a lowercase s. So it's just one of the things you need to uh, be aware of. So right now the syntax for an if statement goes like this. So we can actually have the uh, if keyword a parent, uh, curly braces, parentheses, and then our curly braces. That's the syntax of an if statement. So, but what do we put in between these curly braces? Well, the if statement is going to run if whatever is in between runs a true or a false value. So it will evaluate to a true or false. So let's go ahead and create something right now. So let's create a number. So I'll just say float num and I'll set the first number to be 23.0 F and let's create another uh, float and let's just call that num2 and let's just call that 24.0 F. Feel free to change this or use any other value. So to put the values that will be uh, using our uh, operations. So let's go ahead and say num. Let's check to see if num is greater than num Two. Right, so if num is greater than num2, which simply means if this first number is greater than the second number, let's go ahead and print something. So I'll use a debug.log. And within our debug.log, let's just print out and say num is greater than, oops, num2. Right, just like that. And let's go ahead and close this. So, right, so let's go ahead and save that. Also, let's we can create multiple if statements. So this is our first if statement like that. This is where it terminates. Let's create another if statement. So let's say if, let's say num is less than num two. So what we're going to do is simply print out and let's do a debug.log, debug.log. And just right here, we're going to say num is less than num2. Just like that. And to make this public, let's just make this public. So we can actually see which of these values in the ins inspector is going to uh, show up when we change these uh, values. But for, uh, let's not make this complex. Let's just leave it like that way. Let's just leave it for now. And that will be uh, super fine. So I'll just go ahead and save this. And within our start, let's go ahead and call our function called if statement. So I'm simply going to say if statement, the method, just like that. So right here, we say calling our if statement. 
And you can clearly see how we can create some funny uh, kind of logic using this. So I'm just going to save this. And let's just get down here. And make sure we assign this to one of our game objects. I'll select the cube and I'll just drag my if statement and just place it right here. So I have this if statement. And I've gone ahead and turned off our first script. So I'll just quickly go ahead and save our scene. And let's go to our console and clear our console in case we have any information there. And I'll just go ahead and drag our console and put it right on top because I want to see these results. So I'll just go ahead and play our scene. And if we click on the console, we can actually, it says num1 is less than num2. So let's go ahead and swap that value within our code. Let's say, let's set num1 to be greater, right? Let's set num1 to be, uh, let's say 50, like that. Now let's go ahead and, sa and save it. So now we know that 50 is not uh, less than that number. So let's go ahead and save it and let's get back to Unity and go ahead and test our code. And let's get our console. It says num1 is greater than num2, right? Num1 is greater than num2 because truthfully 50 is greater than, oops, let me just get back here because truthfully 50 is greater than 24. So in our next quick uh, lesson, we're going to see how we can create a version of the if statement called the if else statement, which is going to actually prevent us from running a lot of, you know, uh, if statements together. But if it works, that's super fine. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next lesson.